Oh, God. That's not the plane that we were in. That's a jet. Okay. We're back in one of the early Egypt things, but we bought a we brought a a jet with us this time. Let me see what we've got going on. Obtain the artifact of the Sun Temple. Go underground. Industrial mining. Ooh, shiny. Boom, boom, diamonds. Uranium extraction. Going nuclear. Rocket. Oh, we're building a rocket ship. That makes sense. Okay, so I think we're going to want to go in here and we're going to want to grab whatever the next thing is. <laughs> This is a natural progression of things. So we are, we took our plane into the time portal and it must have warped us ahead again. Because we had like an old school prop plane and it turned it into a military jet. So we've got a jet now and then we're going to want to go to... Ooh. Hello. We're going to want to go to the... Uh, go to space. That's, that's our next era. We're going to have to make our way there first. Is this it? You have something for me? No? Okay. Think I might see something over at the end of this? No? Just an- Oh, yep. Out past it? Dude, these temples really freak me out. Let's pick this up. Artifact is granted you plus 300 weight. Technology sun artifact is complete. So now... Upgrade your time travel device in the industrial furnace and use it to teleport underneath the ice age where the time travel device has detected a diamond rich location. So we're gonna go back to our industrial era we're gonna go back into the furnace we're gonna combine the power of the sun with our time travel device and we're gonna be able to go underneath the ice age i hope you guys are keeping up with this there's gonna be a quiz later i'm not gonna lie it does kind of get a little bit confusing at times like you, you gotta you gotta be paying attention it doesn't fully hold your hand so we're gonna be able to build the sun time travel device with our sun artifact that's been upgraded oh it's already back on our inventory all right and now we're going to be able to go to the underground ice age. But hold on. I think we do. I'm a... They're not here. I don't know where I left them. We had some more dynamite somewhere, but it's fine. Sure, we can make more dynamite when we need it. So we're going underneath the ice age to find diamonds. And somehow those diamonds are going to lead us up into space. Okay, that scared me a little bit. I can't grab those. The ice around seems soft enough to break with our tools already, but we could still use an industrial drill to go faster. Craft an industrial drill in the industrial furnace. Oh, so we can we can break it, but ideally we do the, the drill. Are we getting? We aren't getting any diamonds or anything. Okay, so we're, we're going to go back. So what do we need? An industrial drill. We're going to need 30 coal. I'm just going to steal coal from this guy. Appreciate you. This thing is glitched, remember? So we're going to take it. We're going to delete it. And then we're going to re make it again and it should get us more more coal there it is so she's going again now we're going to be able to make this industrial drill we are going to take this and put this so we don't have it yet gotta let it complete take the items i'm going to put this on three i'm going to drop off all of our extra ingots and stuff that we don't think we need right now we're gonna need to make a second basket we can't make another basket right now it's it's fine our inventory is pretty good go back to the underground ice age era we're gonna use this thing to hopefully mine some diamonds oh yeah whoa okay Ooh, shiny so we just got diamond ore so our goal here is to get a bunch of diamond ore want to mine even faster go back to the ancient wars era and use the drill to mine baking soda then craft dynamite and send it flying in the ice age underground and then we're going to be able to heat the diamond ore into diamond ingots in the industrial furnace, then head to the circuit board manufacturer and craft them all into electronics. Okay, I'm, I'm down. Let's let's speed things up a bit. We're going to go back to the, the ancient war era. Remember, the baking soda was down here, just outside of the castle. So we're going to bring our little tool here, and this is going to get us baking soda a lot quicker and more efficiently. I love how we making a drill was the big thing. We we built a ship and some planes, but no, making making the drill was the the biggest deal that we had to do. This this is the ultimate piece of technology. Baking soda. We got baking soda. I took literally every piece of baking soda here. So now we're going to go back to our colonial era because that is where our chemistry workbench is. Again, tying way back. I forget what else needs to go into these bombs. Oh, sulfur. We're gonna have to go back, aren't we? I think. If we wanna craft dynamite. Oh no, it's just baking soda. Okay. Oh, we, we can't even make that many. 
Interesting. We have nine in here. Where where does that put them? I'm confused. I I clicked it a bunch of times. Where'd it go? Oh, it put it it put it in here. Okay, on our our number eight. Beautiful. So we've got 57 pieces of dynamite now. We're going to be able to go back to the Ice Age underground. I am worried about hurting ourselves. The last thing I want to do is end up killing ourselves or something here. So maybe, maybe if we, let's get this out and I'm just going to go straight back. We're going to go forward. Ooh. Is that the diamond? Oh, that's iron ore. No way, dude. That's huge. Okay, so we have that. And then, oh, we just hit these to get diamond ore. I guess that makes sense. Okay, now I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this. Just don't kill yourself, Trev. Is this actually getting anything for us though, or do we still have to go up to it and hit it ourselves? Oh, this is awkward. Now I can't reach that. It says we've got ten diamond ore. I wanna see what happens if we if we get our things out. Are we going to end up getting any more? No, we still only have 10. We can't collect anything, and then it seems... There's iron ore. It seems a little bugged. Oh, here's diamond ore. So the, there's iron ore. Diamond ore can come in the, the big things, I guess? There's coal. We're getting lots of resources. This is fantastic. Oh, we made it... We made it down to the water. That's not good. So let's start going sideways. feel like this is Minecraft all over again. Come on, baby. Try to kind of go up. Okay, here's Diamond Door. So Diamond isn't the little things that just must have been behind one of the highlighted things for us. The Diamond is, is actually in these, these big pieces. But if we throw... Does that get us anything? No. It just opens up the area. Okay, so the, the Dynamite was really not that worth it. I kind of feel like the, the highlighted ones lead you towards the Diamonds. Or the diamonds are just very... Ooh, see, like, let's try to follow these. I might be crazy. I think I'm crazy. Okay. Oh, well, see, there's one right here. I don't know. Maybe we're just finding them. Might be happenstance. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's, uh, it said go back to the ship, right? So we're gonna go back to the Ice Age. JK, we were supposed to go to industrial. We're gonna turn this diamond ore into diamond ingots. In our industrial furnace, this thing is getting worked over time. So we got 57 diamond ore. I'm just going to max this thing out. We're going to do all the diamond first. And then honestly, we got a bunch of, of coal and stuff and iron. So I'm going to make a bunch of iron ingots. I'm just going to let this thing work while we're gone. We're never going to have to mine for another piece of iron again, dude. We're going to make... 200 pieces of iron. I'm trying to beat it before we run out of the diamonds. All right, that's good. So once these are done, three, two, one... We could take all of our diamonds. Then it wants us to go back to the Ice Age era. We're gonna use the circuit board. We're gonna turn diamonds into electronics. I don't know how that works, but you know, you've gotta have some sort of a, a flow to the game. So we're gonna use this guy and we're gonna be able to make electronics with plastic and diamonds. Needed a bit more plastic potentially. Uh, we'll need to extract some uranium if you want. We want a nuclear reactor. Start by building a uranium miner anywhere in the industrial era. All right, so we're going to go back to industrial. We might as well grab some more plastic while we're back here as well. I think I'm going to put the uranium miner somewhere over here. We need rock and elect. We need more electronics, so we need more plastic. Okay. Knew that was going to be too easy. One of my biggest questions is how are we look? Oh. We have 3,500 power. We might want to set up another power thing. I'm nervous it's going to set us offline. Ah, Because we're going to want... It looks like we have a nuclear... Well, how much power is the uranium miner going to take? Because if we're mining uranium, we're going to be able to build a nuclear reactor and it's going to work a lot, lot better than what we currently produce. We also have an advanced power pole powered by diamond electronics can connect to further distances and higher locations. Ah, we do have a coal vein up here, perfect. So we're gonna set up the coal generator here. I'm gonna build a normal normal power pole up the mountain. We need these connected, beautiful. Okay, so that's there. Let's see how far up we, oh, that was just out of range, wasn't it? Are you, oh, nope, that's still there. Now we need to get it up here. Can we use another normal power pole to get it up here? We can't, but can we use the advanced? Oh, it's working, yes. Beautiful, how high up? Will it go up there? I mean, this is probably pretty good right here. Okay. We'll construct this. We got it. It's connected. So our, our thing up top is now working, and now I can feel fairly confident in building... Uh, we need to go back to our, our ship. 
We're gonna go back and grab our electronics. But now I think we can build that uranium extractor in case it's using power. I just don't want to unpower everything like we did before. And then we're kind of in a, a bit of a bad spot on, in terms of resources, especially because things are starting to get so expensive. So this is still still making electronics. We're working at it. We need 30 electronics for the nuclear reactor and 10 for the uranium miner. So we're going to need 40 in total. There's 40. All right. So we're going to go back to our industrial era. My goodness, dude, there's so much hopping around happening right now, but we're going to be good to go. So we need some rock. I want to get all the resources we need. We're just going to set both of these bad boys up right away and we should be good to go. So we're going to need um, rock and plastic and rock. Lots of rock. Beauty. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all that plastic. And then we can uh, fast travel back. Got our handy dandy rock miner down here. Let's try to grab this guy. We could take all of our rock. I think we're gonna need more rock than that. So we could probably just come over yonder. Can we Hold on now. Not today, dude. I'm done with it. I'm not doing it. Can we use our, uh, our little mining tool on rock? Is this rock that you can mine? I'm not sure. Beauty, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to be able to get a lot of extra rock. Give me all your rock, baby. We're going to need a whole host of it. I take it back. You know, this, this drill is pretty good here. We're just as efficient as this giant machine that we managed to build. So I'm going to put these, I guess, like right here would make the most sense. Just keep them nice and, and close to home. So we're going to go with the uh, uranium miner. It said place it anywhere. I will listen to that. Is this thing powered? Wow, that is outrageous. So we've got that, and then we're gonna make the uranium reactor. Generates 5,000 electricity. We're gonna put this here. We're going nuclear. I mean, this is gonna be pretty ridiculous when this is, is built. Look at the giant nuke in there. Okay, beautiful. We are really starting to get things done. We have 15,000 power now. I'm imagining that's what we need to launch a rocket. Is that what you're gonna tell me next? Rocket launch pad base. It's time for us to take off this planet as only through the power of the Nexus on the moon can we become gods in this universe. Build a rocket launch pad base. So if we go in here, space rockets going to take electronics. We need a vehicle construction crane. Oh, we, d we probably don't need that actually. We need rock, just a bunch of rock. Well, that's fine. We can do that really quickly. Both ourselves as well as grabbing from the inventory here. We already have 106 rock. We need 94 more. Beautiful. We've got that. All right. Where do we want to build our shiny rocket launch pad? I'm thinking out here, kind of in the flat area with the sunshine. So let's go with the, uh, the launch pad base. Okay. Got that done. Now we're going to want to build the infrastructure. We're going to need more rocks and electronics. And then the rocket's going to take more electronics. So I think we have everything that we need. We can build the launch pad infrastructure, which is going to go right here on our launch pad. Oh my goodness. The fact that just a couple episodes ago, we were messing around with diners back or di di diners. Yeah, diners like steak and shake, you know, uh, milkshakes and, and burgers and things. No, dinosaurs. We were messing with. Hello? We're a little, a little glitched up there. Uh, we were messing around with dinosaurs and now we're building rocket launch pads. This is, is pretty incredible. So now we are going to build the space rocket. Can we build the rocket over here? I would assume, can we not build it? We might not be able to build it yet. I, oh, right there. Just kidding. Yes, we can. Okay. No time like the present. I know we need to get some sort of a space suit too, but here we are just building a, a rocket ship with our own two hands. Dude, are you, are you kidding me? Let's go up top. I want to see this beauty from up here. Oh my goodness. We've actually done it. We are going to be taking off to outer space at some point, but we're not quite there yet. So next up we have uh, suiting up, craft a full space suit in the industrial furnace and equip it for the launch. Oh my goodness, dude. We've got giant antennas. And oh, that does not bode well for it. They, it covered up our lumber mill over here. I was worried it was going to cover up our furnace and stuff, but we're good. All right. So we want to build a spacesuit. We need steel ingots and dinosaur leather. We need that for the helmet, the chest plate, the pants, and the boots. I think we might. We don't have any dinosaur leather, do we? We've got dinosaur hide. I'm going to take salt. We're going to take our dinosaur hide. And then we needed what else? We needed iron ingots, 
steel ingots, which we have plenty of, or at least we can make with, with iron and coal. All right, so we're gonna make some uh, steel ingots. I'm just gonna make a bunch. Then we've got our salt and dinosaur hide. I'm gonna make a bunch of salted hide. How come I can't make the salted hide? We have salt. Oh, that's baking soda. Shoot, we're gonna have to go get salt, aren't we? This one's the bane of my existence. I have said this since the very, very beginning. The salt is the most annoying part of this game. <sighs> And there's nowhere else to get it, man. It's it's just here in this primitive era, and we have to take the boat out to the ocean. We could potentially make, we've got the new salt miner, steel ingots, rocks, plant. I don't even think it's worth it, though. I, I think, well, we might as well use it. I'm, I'm gonna go back and make that, and I'll see you guys at the ocean. I just realized something pretty silly that could have saved us a lot of time on our recent salt trips. Oh, shoot. We now have this glider. We don't have to use the boat, you idiot. All right. Is there anybody over here? Is that gator here? The crocodile? Wherever he's at. I came strapped this time, so I'm, I'm ready for you, baby. And we have this handy-dandy salt miner, so we should be a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna try primitive era salt miner. And this, it just continuously works on these things? We've got 32 salt already. All right, that makes my life a, a heck of a lot easier. We got a bear over here. I realize we haven't used the, the nine mil yet. So we're gonna go see what we got going on. It only does five damage. Goodness gracious, that was a little bit scary. A full clip, but we got him. This thing have some more salt? It does. That is absolutely beautiful. We should set up base camp here, huh? And just be able to come back. I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna camp here for a minute. I'm just gonna let this thing mine. I'm gonna take as much salt as we can get. I'm never coming back here. I don't think we're gonna have to come back here. We're getting ready to go to the moon, and I think that's a one-way trip, but it's not really a one-way trip. We, we are getting towards the end. The moon is towards the end, but I don't intend on coming back to get any more salt ever again. I also love how I wasn't gonna build this thing. I was just gonna kind of haphazardly run out here and get it done and we now officially have more salt than we've ever had before look at this almost 200 salt already that's what i'm talking about okay we've got salt we've got dinosaur hide i'm gonna craft a bunch of salted dinosaur hide and then we're gonna craft a bunch of leather and we're gonna be able to make these space suits i'll take one space suit helmet please one chest plate one set of leggings and one set of boots we are going to take all these items and then we can suit ourselves up the leather armor is no more. We actually are ready to go to space. This, let's get a little third person view here. Beautiful, look at that. So that's completed and now launch the rocket. Don't forget to equip the full suit and bring a drill with you. So it sounds like we're gonna be mining for something up on the moon. We've got our drill. And I think it's about time we get off this planet, baby. This is absolutely ridiculous, but we made it ourselves and we can launch our rocket. It's time to go. We're smoking. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. We were just banging rocks together not that that long ago. Just just a couple couple episodes ago and now we are on to our final I don't think it's our final destination. I think we have a couple space places, but wow. I hope you enjoyed the game so far. Please write your thoughts on Steam. It's, it's been interesting, that's for sure. Okay, so we, that is Earth. I don't understand how the Earth and the Sun are the same size, but I guess maybe like the, the distance, is that is that about right? I'm not sure. Look at this giant universe out here for us. All right, let's take a look at our tech tree. This is, wow. Um, There's quite a bit happening here. Is that mech grounds, warp drives, spaceships? Artificial intelligence, AI warping star clusters, and into the unknown is what we're working towards. So for right now, we want to get moon titanium. Moon surface is fully destructible using our industrial drill. Give it a try to get some moon rocks. Oops, forget it on Earth. Just use your time travel device to teleport back. So we can get moon rocks. We want to get moon titanium and moon copper. So we're just going to start drill. Oh, this is kind of crazy. It's kind of like... Uh, it's like the Ice Age, underneath the Ice Age, except it's just straight up, anything is destructible. Okay, so that, that's complete. Look around on the moon surface for a titanium node and use your drill to mine it. Gonna go back up to the top here. Do we see anything that looks out of place? That's moon rock. We need to find stuff that looks out of place. Dude, this is insane. We're on the moon right now. This doesn't make any sense. This, this is something right here. Titanium ore. 
And it's looking like it's giving us a lot of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, you collect this very quickly. We, we're going to want 400 of this. I'm, I'm just going to break this thing down until it's gone. It takes up almost no space, too. You can see our inventory over on the right. Not really moving. I'm going to get some extra just in case we need it later. If we're already here, might as well. We'll get... I don't know, like seven, 700 sounds good to me. I see, hmm. Is the other one gonna be on the, the surface? Yeah, for a copper node. I see the black. We're looking for copper though. Oh, there's copper over there. So we're gonna go get four, we'll get like 600 of this too. That sun looks really ominous. I don't know if I like that thing. All right, so we've got 700 of each. Titanium ingot, take the ore back to the industrial area and heat it in the industrial furnace to get 400 titanium ingots. And then we're going to get 400 copper ingots and we're going to make the Nexus hub. Time travel device is going to make our, our journey a little bit quicker this time around. Not going to have to take our ship back to Earth. Man, that'd be cool if you had a little thing where you could... Oh, we can't sprint, of course. If you had a little thing where you could just travel around the planets instantaneously, that would not be too bad. Drop back down here. This furnace is, is working overtime. So we want to make copper ingots and titanium ingots. It makes eight per. Back on the moon here, we're gonna be able to make the Nexus Hub. Uses the space warp breakthrough technology behind time travel. Combined with the unique gravity of the moon, allows for a new level of automation and makes electricity wireless. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so our Nexus Hub is active. This is a, a little insane. What's up next? We're going to be making an anti-solar panel. We can build an anti-solar panel to harvest energy from the coldness of the moon. And with the Nexus Hub, there's no need for wires or power poles anymore. Well, that's awfully convenient. From there, we're going to get titanium and copper forges. So, I guess uh, moon rocks, titanium ingots, copper ingots. We're just going to be able to build this. And again, this is kind of like a, a power generator. And we're going to be able to wirelessly translate power over there. We've got 300 power and zero consumption. Now we're going to want to build the copper and titanium forges. So I guess we just put these somewhere in between. There's the copper forge. We're going to go with the titanium forge. And now these missing copper ore in the Nexus hub to produce copper ingot. So I, do I put stuff in here? We could put our copper ore and our titanium ore in here. And now these, oop, the, what is, go, oh, oh, it's, it's throwing it. These are now making, producing titanium ingots. Interesting. Okay. That, that is very convenient for us. We don't even have to touch it anymore. Next up, build a titanium miner on a titanium node to automatically mine and transfer to your Nexus hub. And we could do the same thing on copper. Can we build these yet we can't dude this is amazing okay where were those they were back this way so we're literally like before we at least had to move things around but now we're we're actually just gonna gonna randomly place things down and we're not even gonna have to touch it anymore it's all gonna be wireless so we can build the copper miner on a copper node i guess right there down on the bottom i wasn't sure if we had to put it on top or what and now that's sending copper back to our Nexus hub that the other thing is, okay, this is outrageous. Now we just need the, the iron hub, which is right here. Titanium hub, sorry. We need some more titanium ingots, shoot. Which means, well, this is making titanium ingots, isn't it? Do those go in here? Oh, we've got titanium ingots, perfect, okay. Got enough ingots now. We're gonna be able to make the titanium miner. We're gonna put it right on there. We can construct this and now we have oh we need another power source so we're gonna need to make another anti-solar panel we're gonna need titanium ingots copper ingots and moon rock and get moon rock and then our handy dandy little nexus hub over here is constantly making new stuff for us so we've got these is that enough to be able to make the anti-solar panel yes it is we can just set up another one right here i'm wondering if we could set up like 10 of each of these, you know, multiply our, our production line here and, and increase the speed at which we're doing things. So now we can make a moon rover drill, increase your production of titanium and copper, then build the drill. So the drill is probably going to take a lot. Oh my gosh, dude, look at all. All the stuff coming. This is amazing. The drill is probably going to take a, a bunch, isn't it? It's a bunch of ingots and stuff. Okay, so we're probably going to want to go find more nodes and let's just have this coming from multiple areas. So these things are unlimited and we have this miner on it. I could also hit it from the backside. That's, I did not mean uh, like that, but we can and we can get even more. It, it's honestly a lot quicker to grab our own ore and run it back 
to the industrial era than it is to wait on this. So I'm just gonna get a bunch so we can make like three or four miners for each. And then, I mean, this thing is gonna be cooking. It's gonna be great. Dude, this is, look at this. We've got a, a moon rock production line happening here. I love this. So I took a thousand of the titanium. I'm gonna take a thousand copper. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna turn it into ingots and then we're really gonna get this party started. Little titanium miner right here. Get him working and he's gonna start sending more over. Looking for copper. Looks like we found it. So we can build a, uh, a copper miner right here. No? We need more moon rock. One moon rock right there. All right, copper miner. Beautiful. Here's a second one. I think we're gonna need more power. Uh, we don't need more power yet. Cool, okay. I'm gonna do at least one more of each. Titanium miner is up there. We're out of power. It's fine. We could make an another one. I mean, we could just place these anywhere. That's the, the power of this thing, dude. Beautiful. We're back up in business and we need one more copper. And we should be looking all right. Another copper. Beautiful. Mining copper ore. Everything is working as planned. So this should... I love how you don't even have to be in, in earshot or like, you know, a direct line of sight. It just goes through the moon. It makes sense. It makes it a lot easier. That's for sure. So now this thing should be churning through. We have it coming from all sorts of angles. Dude, this... I feel like an evil villain or something here for sure. I'm going to throw all of our excess ingots well i guess we probably want the ingots right our next thing is going to be to build the moon rover drill which we can build right now so i'm gonna place this bad boy down that's what i'm talking about now what's our plan next deep down the moon use your rover to dig down the moon and find the blue ice diamond layer then build diamond miners on it don't forget to bring resources to build the miners to mine with a rover while riding hold left click to look down and driving forward to mine the terrain Diamond miner is going to take moon rock and titanium ingots, which we need a lot more of. I'm going to get the moon rock over here, and then I'm going to make sure we have enough to make at least... I'm going to say three diamond miners. So we're going to need 45 moon rock and a, a bunch of ingots and stuff. So we're going to need 45 moon rock, 600 titanium ingots, and 450... Oh, we have a lot of copper ingots. All right, we, we are good to go. We're going to be able to make at least three of these. So it said, hold left click and look down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're looking for diamonds. We are looking for diamonds. I don't know how we're going to find them, but we're looking. We're getting a lot of moon rock. I'm not finding any diamonds, though. Are we really... Are we going... Well, we're kind of going down. There it is. That, that feels more right. Now it seems like we're going down. Okay, we're looking... Oh, hello, beautiful. Is this it? Oh, that says that's just moon rock. We got to be getting in the right direction, though. <laughs> Over a thousand moon rocks in our inventory. Hopefully, we're going to have to build something with moon rock. Are we going down enough here? I'm not seeing... Dude, this is really trippy. Oh, yeah, keep going down. Do we need to do, like, the old Minecraft days where you, you like, you know, do, like, the whatever... What do they call it? Like, the section mining when you would go back and forth so you made sure that you didn't miss any? Because diamonds are usually like two or three wide, so you would just kind of go back and forth. You'd like farm it. I am not seeing anything. What, what it said, find the blue ice diamond layer, then build the, oh, oh, like just this? Is that what you're saying? It, it, this is what you want me to build the diamond miner on. Oh, I am an idiot. All right, so we're, we're going to build three diamond, oop, not a diamond. Oh, we want to build a diamond forge for sure. I'm gonna build three diamond miners down here first though. One, two, and a, th a third one right here. Let's make sure we can get around it. Beautiful, so we have that. I'm going to, shoot, how do I get you back to the surface? I don't think I do, do I? I don't I don't think I do. I, th I think you're getting left down here. I'm sorry, little little buddy. I really appreciate what you did, but I, unless, oh, actually, I can't, it won't let me delete him. All right, well, rest in peace, little bud. Where I'm going, I don't need you. All right, back up to the surface. So we have diamond miners. We're going to need another one of those anti-solar panels. We're going to need more titanium ingots. We should be getting plenty of those in here. I'm going to take all these. We're going to build another anti-solar panel. And then we definitely want to do the diamond forge. So we're going to build this. And this sh they should start producing diamond ingots. Let's go. So the diamond mines are sending the diamond ore up here. And then this is sending it to here to make ingots, and then this is sending diamond ingots back. Build the electronics manufacturer to produce electronics out of diamonds. Interesting. 
So we're gonna need some more titanium ingots. Those are the slowest thing in the, the universe, literally. We need to go make some more. I really don't know, like I don't understand how the titanium is taking so much longer than the copper is, but it is. So we have about a thousand titanium here. Gonna go back and make it on our own and then we'll be able to make our diamond electronic processor. When you're on the moon, your stuff weighs you down less, but when you're here on earth, obviously it's, it's a lot heavier. <laughs> our inventory right now is a bit ridiculous. We are at 2000 weight over the 600 that we're supposed to be at. So titanium ingots, we're gonna make a whole bunch of these. 1,112 ingots back to the moon we go. We're gonna be able to make this electronics thing and then, I don't know. It's cool because like everything that we've been using so far, we're now just making it a faster pace. This is, I mean, the first, I think there's probably trillionaires already. It's not official, but I, I bet, you know, some of the princes and stuff out east are, are trillionaires. But they say that one of the first trillionaires or maybe even quadrillionaires are gonna be the person that lands on the moon and, and can, you know, harvest the resources there. So we're going to make a an electronics manufacturer here. I'm just gonna keep this close to everything else because why not? So that's done. We're gonna have to make another anti-solar panel. I feel like we should put these further away because they don't really matter if they're wireless. We've got 1500 out of 1300 power. Now we're good to go. So this is producing electronics. So now this is sending the diamond's out to this, and this is sending the electronics back, which we've already got four of there. All right, so our next plan is the Dyson Ring Rockets. Build Dyson Ring Rocket Constructors to start constructing some rockets to build the Dyson Rings. That's a lot of the same words back to back to back. So we just need 50 electronics. We're going to be able to grab 11 there. We need eight more. Look at our weight now. We're at 1,800 out of 2,500. Most of that is from these moon rocks. 1425 kilograms of moon rocks on our body here all right so we've got the 50 electronics now we're gonna make that dyson ring rocket constructor i don't even know what these words are but we're gonna pretend like it's it's good i'm gonna put this right here right in the middle of our production line okay producing a dyson ring rocket i don't really know what a dyson ring rocket is now we need to build the rocket launchers we need more electronics. Launch this Dyson ring rockets until the rings are complete. Then we'll attempt to launch Dyson sphere rockets. A launch every five seconds. So we need more electronics. It's just kind of going slow. Honestly, this is great though, because we can straight up go AFK and it, it uh, there's nothing else that I could do. Look at this empire we're building out here. Again, I kind of feel like a, a little bit evil. I, it's the music maybe. It it sounds not, not right. It sounds not good, but... Uh, we've, we've got this, we're terraforming the moon out here, strike, oh, there, we're actually making missiles, that, this thing is making missiles, stripping it of all of its, uh, resources, and it, it's, it's gonna be a, a good day, we need a ton of electronics here, dude, come on, 50 electronics, all right, I'm, I'm gonna go get, like, a glass of water or something, I'll see you guys in a sec, okay, I think we're finally good here, I don't know if we need to put more miners out, I felt like three was going above and beyond, but it's, it's still, taken quite a long time. I think if we put things close to each other, that's probably going to speed up the process a bit. So I'm going to put this launcher right next to the thing that makes it. And it said we're going to have, oh, we need another anti-solar panel. So we could put this down here. We're good to go. And this is going to produce a rocket every five seconds or launch a rocket every five seconds, right? Something. Oh, oh, okay. It's like a Roman candle, kind of. I'm waiting for the explosion. I, okay, the, these are these are going a, a very far way away. Maybe there's not going to be anything that pops up. First Dyson ring complete. Complete your first Dyson ring by launching enough rockets. Don't forget to look up at the sun. Oh, they're going back behind the sun. Okay, so we're probably going to want to make another rocket launcher, but we're going to need more electronics. Dude, this is insane. I don't know what we're doing to the sun and it's making me a little bit nervous, but we're gonna be fine. So let's set up a second rocket launcher. Second one right next to it. And this should start double firing, I would think. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see it. I see it's, it's making a ring around the sun. No way. Dude, what are we doing? Look at the look at the, the circle. The, uh, I I have no idea where this is going, and I'm I'm so ready, dude. This is amazing. I I I cannot believe we've been here. The fact that this game was made by only one person. Like I'm not gonna pretend like it was the best game of all time. 
it got a little repetitive at times. It's a pretty basic idea, pretty pretty basic, you know, concept of just slowly, continuously upgrading over time and, and grinding for resources and stuff. But this was really fun, and it, it's it's beautiful. I feel like it's had surprises at every turn. I mean, it, it, I'm I've been impressed with this. This is really good. I'm gonna. Take a couple pop shots at the sun, see what happens. I mean, it, it might make it there. Moon's gravity is not going to hold it back, so I pumped the sun up with lead. But, um, all right. So our goal is to make our first Dyson or Dyson ring. From there, we're going to be receiving Dyson power. We can make a third Dyson ring, complete the Dyson rings, future earth, mech grounds, lead miner, accelerating particles all of these are going to lead to a spaceship which goes to warping away which goes to artificial intelligence which goes to ai warping to a star cluster to enter the unknown got a ways to go do we think we've got enough electron oh my goodness gravity can be a bit difficult do we have 50 more electronics we've got 22 30 in total it is a uh, a wee bit slow i would set up a third one if we could i mean technically we could set up a second maker if we wanted, but I also kind of feel like we don't want to waste resources, so. Let's just wait this out. We're almost there. I'm gonna make a second dot. Oh! First Dyson ring has been complete, but there's still firing off. I made a second diamond thing. I think diamonds might be what's slowing us down the most. We only have 29 diamonds here, but we have a ton of diamond ore. So I was hoping I'm gonna make another Dyson ring launcher too. It sounds like we want to make more than one ring around the moon here so or on the the sun sorry so we're gonna set a second one up there and now we're gonna have or a third one up there now we're gonna be making three ah we're gonna be making the 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 ring things okay i got you so first dyson ring is complete start receiving energy from the dyson rings by building a dyson transmission tower anti-solar panels will become a thing of the past then let's work to build a spaceship with warping technology interesting okay so now we want a dyson transmission tower we're gonna want copper ingots which we sh should have some copper ingots in here we're probably gonna have to make our own copper though making copper back at home beautiful got that we're gonna be able to go back to the moon i think i have enough to be able to build two of these and if these are gonna replace our anti-solar panels then that means we could break those down maybe we'll we'll see hopefully our things have continued firing off oh yeah we're getting closer on that second ring here so I'm going to try building the Dyson Transmission Tower. Hopefully this is wireless as well. I'm going to try to find a good spot for it. Maybe right here looks good. 32,100 power out of 2,100 consumption. Devices absorb the energy from the Dyson ring and can now travel to the future on Earth. So now what we can do is these anti-solar panels. We can... Is this an anti-solar panel? I don't know what that is. The anti-solar panels have the, the beams on them. We could just take these down. We can get our copper ingots and moon rocks back. Yeah, these are all anti-solar panels. This is beautiful. So these ingots that we were wasting, we don't really need anymore. I'm going to take all of those. We could honestly feed them back into the Nexus or we can travel to the future. Let's see. We're working on our third Dyson ring and a fourth Dyson ring and a fifth Dyson ring. We could travel to future Earth. Bring some titanium and copper with you. Who knows what we might need to build. We can, we can literally straight up go there. All right, so through the Dyson rings we go. Off to future Earth. I'm bringing a lot of iron and copper with us. Oh my goodness. Future Earth is complete. So now we're going to want to build mech grounds. Looks like we've arrived at a mech-filled location. It'll be too dangerous to go on our own. Build your own future Earth mech. So with ingots, we can make a mech. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? We have a mech! Can I... I can fight these things with him! He's done. You're done, son. Can I... Can I harvest you? Is there anything to, to get from you? Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's, let's keep going, buddy. It's you and me. Just you and I together. It's a little bit awkward fighting, but it's, it's fine. He's down. We have two up here. I don't know how many mechs we can take. I never really see our health bar when we're on things like this, but we could take a two on one. Can I see your health bar if I get out? It looks like we were hurt a little bit, but we're, we're back to full health now. All right, we're going to keep going. Look at this futuristic city out in the desert. This is kind of crazy. 
So we're going to try to keep these to one-on-ones as much as we can. It'll make our life a heck of a lot easier. Although it looks like that's not going to be the case. We might need to build more mechs. If I build a second mech, can I fight alongside him? Let's try this. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Right here. Are you going to come with me? He doesn't actually move. Let's see if he follows us once we get in a fight. No, he's worthless. Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm going to get rid of you then. Uh, thanks for thanks for doing absolutely nothing for me. Appreciate you, big, big dog. Let me just get rid of him. I can't get rid of him. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We might need more than one then. I, I don't know. It looks like we have a, a whole bunch of, like a big group of them up here. We're going to have to slowly make our way through. Probably focus one. We could defeat four at once. We aren't going to be able to do much than that. Much more than that. Ooh, this one's a little bit bigger than some of the others. We got a three on one here. I'm a little upset I wasted all those ingots back there. I'm not going to lie to you. I, those ingots are not the easiest. I mean, they're not hard to come by. They're just annoying to make. The fact that I can't unmake a mech when I want to is, is frustrating. We might be in trouble here. JK, we're a freaking boss, baby. Don't want to go right or left. We're going to keep going forward. I'm just going to let us reheal a little bit. I don't know what we're going towards, but we're going towards something, and there's a lot of them, so I'm, I'm just going to skip ahead. Oh, boy, there's five here. No shot we're winning a five on one. No shot, right? Oh, my goodness, we got him. Let's go, baby. And this is the end right here. This is, this is what we've been working for. Technology warp drive complete. So I... Is that, is that it? We got that. So we need the warp drive. We need to complete the, the Dyson rings. Then we need both of these. We need a lead miner. Find a lead node on the moon and build lead miners. And then lead forge. And then we're going to need accelerating particles. With the energy of the Dyson rings, we can charge particle accelerators to warp matter. So all of those are going to lead to our spaceship. And that's going to get us off the moon and to wherever we're going next. So... Back to the moon we go. Our second Dyson ring is coming along nicely. Now, one thing I have noticed is I don't think your planets will automate things when you're not on them. So like when we were just on Earth, I don't think we were firing off the rockets. I think we'll be firing the rockets now, but I don't think we were firing the rockets at that point in time. I'm gonna put our titanium and copper back in here. Why, why are we not firing rockets? Missing Dyson ring rocket in the Nexus hub. Oh. We're not making rockets fast enough. Why are we not making, producing rockets? Maybe we need another rocket producer. We need more ingots and electronics. We have a bunch of electronics. I'm gonna split half of these. That's actually kind of a good strat. I'm gonna take those. I think it just doesn't produce the, the ingots quick enough. I'm gonna go back to the industrial era. We're gonna take 2,500. And th this is, we're, we're gonna be set, don't worry. This thing makes them so fast compared to everything else. We just gotta press the button a million times, so. We're gonna go make 2,500 copper and titanium ores, and then we're gonna be back on the moon. We're gonna super size our production so i think we were being a little bit too safe and organized with our base i have gone all out now we have uh, four rocket launchers three rocket makers we've got our nexus hub of course we've got multiple of these these producers that are making titanium uh copper and now we even have lead ingots being produced where's the lead at the lead maybe over here, diamond, diamond. There's a lead one, some lead ingots right here going in. So uh, things are looking good. Th we're, we're progressing very quickly. Pretty much all of these have been completed except for this particle accelerator. So we're gonna try making that. I'm not sure what this does. Producing warp matter. Okay, I'm gonna say since we have multiple of everything else, let's, we might as well do multiple of that. We need some titanium ingots. Hopefully we've got some titanium ingots back here in this. I also added a bunch more miners. So we're, we're adding more titanium ore than we ever have been before. I think we make a second particle accelerator here because why not? And then our, I, I mean, our next thing is going to be to make the spaceship, right? How do we make the spaceship? It's going to take moon rock, titanium ingot, copper ingot, lead ingot, and warp matter, which we're honestly probably getting fairly close we've got the warp matter here we've got the lead ingots here we need a couple hundred more lead ingots and then that warp matter should come in quickly i mean we we just have to wait this out i guess i'm gonna set up another uh another little rocket launcher here with the electronics that we have building the 
the things around the moon are going to be one of the, the biggest uh, things that we need to do. It, it's taking the longest, so oh, we need we need a whole Dyson sphere. I keep calling it the moon, but it's the sun. We haven't even completed the Dyson rings yet. And then we need to begin the Dyson sphere. And then we need to complete that. Yeah, that's, that's going to take a lot of work. But we're almost to the spaceship here. If anything, I think our lead production could be increased a little bit. Lead is the, the big bright stuff right here. So we're going to go with a lead miner on this guy. Keep that coming in quickly. Third Dyson ring is complete. That's what I'm talking about. We're starting to get in there. I, I think we might be ready. We're going to take our lead. We're going to take that. Are we good to build a spaceship we need 44 more lead ingots these should start coming in a little bit quicker since we're making the ore faster we have quite the ridiculous production going on here dude. look at this game all the resources coming in the rockets going out we've got some sort of a plan with the sun up there for all the folks back on earth they're gonna be a bit confused as to what's going on here all right so we can build our spaceship might as well no time like the present okay just gonna build this with my handy dandy pickaxe. Not a, a big deal at all. So that is our space. She is, she's absolutely massive. Okay. So we've got that complete. Now we could take off into space to warp to another planet. This is done. Not quite done yet. The third's done. We're waiting on the next one. I wonder. Can we, we could just leave before we get that done though? I'm gonna, oh. You can press Z and X to roll. Okay. What do you want me to do? Just go up? Our goal is to take off into space to warp to another planet. Do we... What in the world? I'm just going to keep going. It just wanted us to pick a direction and we warped. Okay. I can't believe it just let us take off from the planet like that. You can't even do that in Starfield. Where are we here? Land your spaceship at the marker that explore the alien planet to discover and take control of advanced alien AI. Bring the AI close to the spaceship. Double jump if you need to. <laughs> what the? Advanced alien AI? What if I don't want to? Do you want me to get out of my spaceship? Bro, I am really weirded out right now. There's some sort of a path that we're following. What the fudge is this? Take control. We're gonna bring this back to the ship. Okay, fair enough. I, <laughs> I'm so confused, but all right. We are sentient alien AI blocks. Just headed back to the ship, I guess. Makes sense. To Why do we have like a weird culty candles on the pathway? All these scary trees and things type vibe here. The AI has a double jump. That's pretty good. So we're going to bring this back to the ship. Technology AI interface is complete. Okay, so now... Use the AI integration, we can now warp much farther into the galaxy, take off into the skies, and then warp to the next destination, okay? Do we still have to complete these, or is that... Maybe that's not necessary. Maybe it was like a one or another thing? Bro, what in the world is going on? Get me back on this ship and get me out of here. We're we're gonna get out of here. Let's just go, go straight up. Technology AI warping is complete. We have warped far off into the galaxy. No idea where home is. What do we do? Fly through the star cluster. What star cluster? Cluster, the one right here in front of us? There's a lot of star clusters out here. I feel like there are infinite star clusters that we could choose from. Bro, what is ha- Okay, we're, we're taking a, a wormhole through space here. We've warped multiple times. I don't know if we're ever going to get back to the moon. I don't know how we're powering this ship. Oh my god that's a black hole look at all we've achieved from the past into the future from the dinosaur era to space we've now mastered this universe harvesting its power and exploring its beauties the only mystery left to solve is what lies beyond data shows the black hole can lead us outside enter the black hole oh i'm i'm down I would love to take a one-way trip through a black hole. I, I wouldn't even think twice about it. Offer me the ticket tomorrow, I'll go. I'll find out what's on the other side. Might be able to contact you guys again 
might not. Who knows? Maybe this is a real black hole. Maybe I'm about to be sucked into it in real life. That'd be pretty cool. Can I just take one last little peek around here? There's nothing that way. It's it's just just this black hole and us and the universe and all is fun. Good night, sweet prince. It's been a good ride. I don't know where this is going to lead us. I don't know if this is where the journey ends. But all I can say is I'm glad it happened. <laughs> this is sick. <gasps> Into the hole we go. We're now in between dimensions. Thank you for playing Grand Emprise Time Travel Survival. Made by Tibijib2. Dude, what in the, are we flying towards that? We're still getting closer to the information mark. That was actually a really cool effect going into that black hole. Like that, that was pretty epic. I'm impressed by that. So yeah, this, this guy, TBJBU2 is the one that made this game. Obviously the assets and stuff are all just borrowed from other games and publicly available in the, the public domain and stuff. But like, honestly, low-key pretty good. I really enjoyed it. It was a grind. I kind of like grinding games. I, I find it enjoyable. Hopefully I was able to cut it up out for you guys watching that it wasn't boring, but this was pretty cool. I'm flying towards the information marker. Is this what goes on in your head, TBJ uh, GB2? Is this, uh, does this just never end? Shoot, dude. I'm going to try one more, but I, I, is this like an infinite end screen where I'm just going to keep going and it's just going to keep getting weirder and weirder and procedurally generate? Oh, nope, it's not. More to come? Can we can we join back in? Is it going to take us back to our save slot? It takes us back to the moon. It takes us back to the moon. Okay. Well, we made it to the other side of the universe and lived to tell the tale. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time with this series. We have a bunch of great series on the way, so be ready for it. Thank you guys for being here. I know it was kind of a silly little indie game, but um, I had a good time, so I hope you guys did too. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.